This is Serena's poster. Having this is kind of a reminder of where I want to go. I want to be the best ever. I want to be better than Serena. Think about this. A girl who is 15 years old goes to Wimbledon's famous grass courts to play her hero, Venus Williams. She's not just there to have fun, she wants to win. This is Coco Goff for you. She is a star and the youngest American woman to win a Grand Slam title since Serena Williams in 1999. Hold on tight as we follow Goff's rapid rise from her humble beginnings to her historic U.S. Open win. A future sports star was born in Delray Beach, Florida, a beautiful beach town. Her name was Corey Dion Goff, but everyone would call her Coco Goff. Her parents were Division I basketball players and competed in gymnastics, track, and other sports, so she was pretty much born active. But don't be fooled, this isn't a story about how ability runs in the family. The story is about conscious choices and sacrifices that have led Coco to the top of the professional tennis world. Her parents, Corey and Candy, weren't just good at sports, they had big dreams. When they saw that Coco had talent by age six, they did something that not many people would do. They put their stable, well-paying jobs on hold to help their daughter grow. They weren't just interested, they were fully committed to making a winner. Coco learned how to play tennis when most kids are still getting good at coloring books, but with her parents' strong hands holding her, she was able to handle a tennis racket with ease. But Corey and Candy were more than just her parents, they were her first teachers, her biggest fans, and the people who made her future in sports. So the next time you see Coco Goff smashing volleys on a Grand Slam court or taking another trophy with grace, keep this in mind. People didn't just get lucky or win the DNA lottery, they put everything they had on a dream and won big. And the story is only just beginning. A 10-year-old American girl getting on a plane to France with wide eyes that showed she was both excited and determined. In this case, it wasn't a family getaway, it was a plan. Patrick Muratoglu, the revered coach of tennis star Serena Williams, was going to teach Coco Gauff how to train. Coconut wasn't just crossing the Atlantic at that moment, she was crossing into a world full of amazing potential. However, let's be clear, Coco's rise to tennis fame was not a smooth one. The Women's Tennis Association, WTA, has rules about age limits that made it hard for Coco to reach her career goals as quickly as she wanted to. Because she could only play in a certain number of events, her rise through the rankings was slow and deliberate. Imagine that you are 685th in the world and want to get to the top 100. Doesn't that sound like a pipe dream? But for Coco, it was an unbreakable dream. Also, guess what? In fact, she didn't just get there, she pushed through it like a freight train. Yes, you read that right. By age 15, she had not only made it into the coveted WTA Top 100, but she also won her first WTA title. What do we learn from this? It's not just about getting past problems or beating the chances. Setting bold goals and working hard to reach them is what it's all about. The story is about a young athlete who turned setbacks into stepping stones and every no and not yet into fuel for her unstoppable drive. Also, don't think you've seen everything Coco Gauff has to offer. This star child, shaped by hardships and polished by the greats, isn't just a passing fad. She's becoming a legend. What's going to happen next? I'm sure you won't want to miss it. Don't move, because Cocomania is spreading across the country, and you don't want to be the last person to get it. The phrase was first used in 2019, when Coco Goff beat Venus Williams at Wimbledon. Williams was Goff's childhood hero. Who is this young dynamo shaking the tennis cosmos, was the question that everyone asked themselves at that time. But folks, that was only the beginning. It's 2023, and Cocomania has reached a new peak. Think about the US Open, a place where stories are made. Coco not only breezes through the other players, but she also beats three top 20 players. 
The crowd knows they're seeing more than a win when she lifts that prize. They're seeing the start of a legend. This isn't just talk on the sports page. No way, sir. Presidents of the United States, past and present, are joining the Cocomania chant. It's like her tennis racket has struck a national chord, bringing people together across party lines and age gaps. How long ago was the last time a kid did that? Now that Cocomania has caught your attention, what are you waiting for? This is not a short-term trend. It is a huge change in the sports world. Coco Goff isn't just a tennis player, she's changing what it means to be a famous young athlete around the world. If you thought Coco Goff was only fast on the tennis court, get ready for this. She's also a strong voice for her age. The number of people who follow this young athlete on social media is now over 1.5 million. This athlete isn't happy just getting points and titles. That's not true. She's using that stage to talk about important things. Do you believe that climate change is a fight between old people? Not so fast. Coco is at the center of attention, telling her followers to think about the future she and her friends will receive. Racial unfairness? You can work for both aces and good causes at the same time. She's there too, using her power to help. But maybe what fascinates the country the most is how strong she is. Picture this, it's 2021 and the Olympics are almost here. For any athlete, this is the ultimate goal. Then comes the heartbreaker, a positive COVID-19 test that makes her have to back out. Coco wouldn't fall apart like most people would. She turns the moment into another part of her story, and with her unwavering spirit, she wins over the hearts of the country all over again. Coco Gauff didn't just get a shiny prize and all the praise in the world when she won the U.S. Open. She also won a cool $3 million, bringing her total career wins to an amazing $11 million. And guess what? That's just the money she made from playing tennis. Things get even more interesting when you zoom out to see the big picture. There's a good chance you've seen Coco's face on big brands like New Balance Shoes or Bose Speakers. Yes, this one has a lot of endorsements. In other words, she's not just a tennis star, she's a brand power in the making. Now, some people might wonder how they can make so much money in such a short time. But here's the thing. Coco isn't just making money, she's also building up cultural value. She uses her platform to speak out for important issues and people whose voices aren't always heard. That, my friends, is the real tally. When you see Coco Goff, don't just think of her backhands and fast serves. Imagine a young business owner, a leader, and a winner, both on and off the court. Do you think Coco Goff is done? Not so fast. Not only is she writing her name in the record books with that Grand Slam win, she's also drawing up the rules for a new type of player. Someone who doesn't just want praise and cheers. Instead, they use their position to change ideas and mold society. A young star who is already famous on the game and a force off it. Not only does she serve like a pro, but she also tells us some hard truths about our society and people love it. Not only is she a huge star in sports, but she's also becoming a culture icon who represents the hopes and struggles of a whole generation. Where does Coco Goff go from here? It's not easy to answer that question, but one thing is for sure. She won't be leaving the court anytime soon, whether she's playing tennis or being an activist. We should all pay attention as she gets ready to serve. Let's get ready to clap loudly because Coco Goff's time isn't over yet. What do you think Coco Goff will do next? In the comments, please share your thoughts. Also, please like this piece if you thought it was helpful. Sign up to get more interesting stories from sports and other areas. Are you ready for the next part of Coco Goff's interesting story? Yes, we are.